Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Male repeating bows are getting a lot of attention these days and that is because the frequency of the shots is so high, like so. <laughs> but then a lot of people said, but from now on the reloading like arrow per arrow is kind of slow and that is actually the truth. Um, but a lot of people, specifically on New Sensei's channel, said we need to have like a stripper clip or an exchangeable magazine. I think it kind of destroys the very simple pure concept. But because it's a challenge and I love mastering challenges, I have decided to give it a go. So I converted my instant Legolini, which is the smallest of the repeating bows I've done so far, to stripper clips. Let me explain. So I made this here. This is actually a stripper clip for the small six and a half inch bolts that are used for the Cobra pistol. And I'm using the same in the instant Legolini since they're so affordable. Uh, and, um, but of course the stripper clip for a bolt needs to be different than a stripper clip for a, for a firearm uh, round because you don't need to make sure that the ammo is actually firmly in place and cannot really change since you need to press them all at once into the magazine and therefore they should not be sliding in inside of the, the uh, clip. And the only way how you can do this, if you look at an arrow, the only way how we can do this in a compact form is using the fletchings, using the veins, because those can be put inside of a box and that's exactly what I did here. So there's five of these arrows in this very simple wooden box and you see rubber is actually making sure that they are held in place. Therefore they cannot fall out. They're actually really firmly inside of this. So you can really take this wherever you want to go. So this is actually something you can make as many of those as you want. It's just glued together plywood. But of course this also required changes in the instant Legolini itself. What I've done is I took the entire spring part off and make, made it rotating. So that when I press on this here, you can see that I can swing this up and down now. And it still of course has the spring inside, right? But it is movable now. And I can of course also close it at any time. And this is done with this lever here. And as you see the lever sits on like a wooden little spring. And it releases the entire thing here. And when I close it, automatically this engages and then it's locked. So the loading sequence is fairly easy. First you pull the lever, then you open this up, then you take the clip, put it in like so, and then you press down on it, close this and remove the stripper clip and you are in business. Very easy and quick procedure. And again, of course, you can empty the magazine again like so. Putting these into the magazine is actually super easy. You simply slide them in one after the other. So it really doesn't take very long. Okay, that's it. Five of them are in there. So once they're loaded, you can still at any time empty it again. Just simply pull on it and then you have access to the box. And it's actually even easier to feed in individual arrows like here. Click, click. Okay, then let's do a test how quickly I can reload using that thing and how long it takes me to do this with normal bolts. First of all, let's empty the magazine. <laughs> oh, empty. <laughs> okay, pull this, open it up, take the new one, insert it, guide it down, close it, remove it, done. And now on to the next five shots. <laughs> Okay, now I will try to fill it the conventional method. It is actually a great advantage of this design that you can still load it the normal way. So you don't need the stripper clip to do that. Okay. First one is always taking the longest. 
second, third, fourth, fifth, and in business. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> okay, once more reloading, opening up. Okay, we take the box, we put the box in, we slide the arrows down, we close this, we take it away, it's ready for shooting. Click, 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 click. Bang! <laughs> Can this be adjusted for the instant Genghis Khan? Sure. I mean, these are pretty much very comparable bolts. So of course the box would have to be slightly bigger, but not that much bigger. And I think it's a perfectly viable uh, uh, design. So I'm thinking about making another instant Genghis Khan with the changes that New Sensei uh, has suggested. For example, turning it around so thumb draw is easier, removing all the decorations so it's more smooth, it doesn't really scratch the hand so much. Plus, of course, also increasing the mag capacity and making it possible to use the stripper clip. <laughs> I think we're getting closer to something that every archer wants to have. Or don't you think so? <laughs> anyway, I hope you like this because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye. Bang, 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 bang. Ha, ha, ha.